Hey everyone, we are LDG. I'm Brooks. I'm Kitty. And I'm Lizzie. And today we finally have on the table what we had an interview with designer Jamie Stegmeier about not too long ago, Red Rising, their new release. Well, Liz has it on her table. We don't have ours yet. <laughs> I but, actually uh, don't have it on the table. We have recorded the unboxing and we're going to watch the recording. No one cares about that behind the scenes <laughs> tidbit. <Technicality>. <laughs> <laughs> They just don't think your hands are moving really fast. <laughs> yeah, faster than life. Okay, well, let's jump over and dive into it. Yes. Yeah. Okay, here we go. I was number 7404, which this... Ooh, that nice. box is so pretty, too. That deep black on the back. Yeah. Oh, my God, it's so I pretty. really love the little speckles of the white. Mm-hmm. That's really cool. Yeah, That's makes awesome. it look very spacey. Very clean on the back, too, which is nice. Yeah, and I like the characters on the back, too. There's a couple I'm excited about. Yes. Ooh, this is a fresh on opening. I mean, you even uh, took the plastic yes, off. Yes, I was a very good girl when I got the box in from the mail. <laughs> I did not open it. I was like, oh, I want to. I actually stayed up to record this <laughs> just so that I could unbox it. No wonder you <laughs> harassed us so much today. To get exactly. To it. <laughs> But uh, here we have the rule books. We have first the uh, general game, which uh, I really, really like. In there, they had the dice, each side of the dice listed out. So you could just number those one through six for remote play, which is really nice. And you know, the rule book is actually really kind of short and succinct looking. It looks like it's probably easy to pick up. Yeah, it looks very simple, in my opinion. For Have you learned it all? <laughs> I mean, I may have already done a how to play remotely on this. Ooh, those are pretty. Those are yeah, the those, um, player Yeah, those were the house tiles that each player nice. gets. I mean, I can't wait. We can go ahead and... No, onto the board. Onto the board. <laughs> <laughs> but I want to be House Diana. That's the one that Brixie will want to be, though. I think Minerva. Minerva's it pretty. Is. Cool. Yeah, and then Mars is, of course, the main one. Mm -hmm. Yes. Cool. Okay, we can uh, go ahead and move on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to see the board. Yes. board. Which, oh, it's so pretty. And I love it when publishers Ooh. do this. Granted, it's out of focus. Look at the okay, I, I kind of like the um, woman there, the robot woman. Whatever. Yeah. I, I kind of like her. Kind of? Only kind of? She's awesome. She's kicking yeah, it. I like her a lot. <laughs> <laughs> that, uh, that's uh, one of my pet peeves is when people do not put art on the back of a board. Yeah. So it's really cool to see it so nicely yeah, done. It is amazing. And then here's the front of the board, which nice. is awesome. And this is where you put your helium. Love it. Oh, and that's so cool. It's like the Mars. It's the wolf head, right? Yeah. yeah. And it fits back in the insert, although the insert is uh, collector's edition only, which gotcha. there's a few differences with collector's edition, which we'll get to when they come through. Ooh, I like that Yeah, that piece. was the uh, sovereign token with the little wings. And then that moon that mm -hmm. you saw me just drop is the first player token. Ah, oh, cool. Nice. Yeah, which is... Pretty nice, and here's the uh, uh, scoring checklist, scoring pad. The um, the chunky metal pieces are the deluxe, uh, right? I think that they're the same in regular retail edition. Nice. Um, I the player pieces, the metal player pieces are plastic, which has its benefits as well, which we'll get to when we see those. Cool. Sweet. Yeah. And then the nice chunky dice. That is a very nice chunky dice. We love the chunky dice. Yeah, it looks like a satisfying. It was. Roll. I, I <laughs> wanted to keep rolling it, but I'm like, people don't want to watch me roll it a hundred times. <laughs> and then these are the Automa cards, or the cards for okay. solo play. Solo oh. oh, play, right? right yeah. So some good information, and then the cards that you actually play with. So I really like the back of that. Yeah, that's yeah, that's cool. And then we have the characters, but before that, we're gonna do the uh, card holders. Oh, they're yes. so pretty! They're awesome. Um, 
they are only in the collector's edition. Uh, but gotcha. then you can see the bottom of the cards, which is really nice when they're in it, and then holding it up to the camera. Patience. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, but now we can get to the cards. But, oh, what were you saying? I was just going to say, in general, they're really beautiful, and they're based off all of the colors of the different um, houses, like yeah. genres or houses of the groups of people, Yeah, I right? think they're the player colors for the houses that we saw at the beginning. Cool. But another thing I think that seems super nice is, even though the collector's edition stuff is amazing and pretty, you could easily, if you were, you know, tight or on a budget, be able to get the regular version and not miss out on anything game Exactly. Yeah, exactly. For sure, which is awesome. And then um, now we have the cards, which collector's edition, the golds have this gold foil on them. Doesn't affect gameplay again, which is nice. It just adds a little bit of uh, variety or a little bit of eye-catching. All that different artwork. Yeah. Yeah, it looks diverse as well which is super awesome yeah, i was very pleased with all of it it was just as someone who's read the entire series so far really awesome to see all the different characters and we have another bag. yeah i'm glad um i'm glad it is diverse too and the colors are really beautiful so especially when the box is that pretty you kind of hope the contents are just as pretty yeah <laughs> exactly and the uncle some of the characters yeah. from the books that I really fell in love with. Okay, now now we have the collector's edition metal um, player pieces, which the downside okay. is that they are very similar because they are just the metals themselves, and so there's not really a whole lot of variety with the color. Retail edition has the plastic cubes, which has more variety in the color, but they're still nice, and when you actually have them in gameplay, it's really easy to tell where each of them are. Gotcha. Yeah. They're still beautiful, Yeah, they are though. gorgeous. Yeah. I mean, I would still prefer the metal ones, just because I like that look. Yeah, pretty and With shiny. With this game, yeah. I'm like a magpie. As long as it's super <laughs> shiny, ridiculously shiny, I want it. Exactly. <laughs> That's why they always get me good on add-ons on Kickstarter. Yeah, metal coins. <laughs> yes, they're they're different enough. I yeah. think they're the metallic ones are still different enough. Yeah, but, some of them are um, a little bit hard to see. Like the blue and the green when they're right next to each other can be a little bit difficult. But other than that, they're really good. If you and if you had to, you could mark it maybe somehow. Yeah, or just play yeah, with some, very different colors and just play with whatever house yeah. you want to. Yeah. Exactly. But okay, yeah, but uh, that's Red Rising. Beautiful. There's not a ton to it. It doesn't look like an overly complicated game. I'm excited to yeah. play it. Exactly. Soon. 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 Well, we are excited that we finally got it to the table since we uh, spoke about it with Jamie. Um, can't wait to uh, see how it plays, and that should be coming very yes. soon. So. Super excited. I can't wait, too, because once we play it once and Lizzie gets our feel for it, having not read the books, that means that we yes. can read the books. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully she won't give us too many character spoilers like she already I'm trying does. so hard to be good. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, thanks, everybody. That was the unboxing for Red Rising. So, until next time, <laughs> just remember to have fun. Be present. And be you. Thank you all for watching. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to reach out to us. We would love to hear from you. Also, if you find value in our content, please like, comment, and subscribe. Let a family or a friend member know that we exist. Help us spread our channel and bring remote gaming to a table near you. Thank you very much, and have a great day.